Hello Richard. It's me. Robin. Having one of the more stressful times of his life. It's Thursday. This is your day. I haven't done it in the last three days. I'm going to give myself a pass. Um, I should upload this before you upload yours today. I'm trying to get in early. Um, oh boy. So, for context, I know that you know this in real life, but maybe in future times. I'll have forgotten which time, whatever. Mittens broke her leg. She has a broken leg. Um, that happened on Friday or Saturday. Then took her to the vets. Had to get x rayed. Was broken. Sorted out surgery, orthopedic surgery. Took her to surgery. Brought her back from surgery. And now she's on cage rest for four weeks with three pins in her leg and one of those buster coat with like Elizabethan co- like collars, the cones, um, around her neck. And so we have to be very caring and um, help her do all the things she needs to do, confine her just against her and our will. She would much rather be running around, but unfortunately the three pins in her broken leg are there for a reason and uh, we need to not have her jumping and playing and pouncing and running. Um, it's been pretty tragic, to be honest. It's been very sad. Various stages have been very sad. Um, and it's been, yeah, difficult to kind of, you know, you feel like you've failed the kitten and then the kitten has to be, I mean, not literally punished, but like has to stay in the cage and is in pain and does all these things. And, like, I'm trying to think of it like if I had a kid. I don't think I'd be this sympathetic if it was a child. I think I'm so, like, I'm more sympathetic because it's a a kin. It's always worse, which sounds, well, I don't know, it seems like it might be silly, but. So she's got these kind of pins in her leg, this open wound situation. You know, it was a risk of infection, so we've got to be very careful on, sort of, she's not supposed to lick her wounds, but her her cone is supposed to stop her, but she's very stretchy and can kind of lick around it. You need to sort that out. Um, giving up various pain medications, that's a bit of a struggle because one is quite easy to give. The uh, anti-inflammatory pain med is quite easy to give because it's, it's a liquid that doesn't smell very much. And sort of, you can put it in milk, in cat milk, and then give it to her. The We've got some opium as well, an opioid, um, in tablet form, which is much more difficult to get to eat. So trying to find a sneaky way of getting to do that. You know, it's difficult because you can't, communicate that this is good for her and if she doesn't want it she doesn't want it um and you don't want to stress her out by like trying to force it into her mouth or anything she doesn't seem too much in pain but you would like to give you know you want to give her as many different pain medications as possible so that she is in the least amount of pain the infection thing is a bit of a struggle because her leg is right next to her bum and her tray is in her cage because it needs to be because she's only allowed in this cage so you kind of have to be very careful about making sure that she doesn't get, like, poo in the wounds and, like, all of this stuff. She can't lick herself. Oh, it's a bit of a mare. It's very stressful. And I'm I'm the one at home all the time, so I'm the one looking to taking care of her most of the time. Um, so, hey, but, I mean, I don't have to go to work, but I do have to look after this kitten. Which is, hey, you know, that's what you sign up for when you get kitten. I was hoping, that you know, I didn't expect when we got her to be, you know, this, have this much responsibility so immediately. Um, but that's roll, it's a roll of dice, isn't it? That's been my whole life. Um, the kitten is life now. Um, sounds like your job's going all right. So we've not been communicating a great deal. I have been... A bit, I've been preoccupied with this kitten. I hope you're doing alright. Um, I'll see you on the flip side. Stay out.